This video will calculate the work done and the efficiency for a simple heat engine. Though our heat engine is constructed with a hot reservoir and a cold reservoir, as energy moves from the hot reservoir to the cold reservoir, there's some engine in the middle here that uh, captures a portion of the energy that's moving from the hot reservoir to the cold reservoir and creates useful work. So we're told that 210 joules are being uh, delivered to the cold reservoir. 380 joules are removed from the hot reservoir. So it's a real heat engine. We're not going to calculate the efficiency using temperatures. We're going to calculate the efficiency using work and uh, the uh, energy from the hot reservoir. So to do that, we need the work number, at least in one way to calculate the efficiency. Um, so we have QH 380, QC of 210, we balance energy. Energy comes out of the hot reservoir. It goes to two locations, work being done and the cold reservoir. So 380 equals unknown plus 210, uh, 170 joules is the work that's done. Once we have that number, we can easily calculate the efficiency. The efficiency is how much useful work we get out of the engine divided by the resource we had, the energy from the hot reservoir. So 170, the work, 380, the energy from the hot reservoir, and we divide those and we find 0.447, or if you prefer the percent as the efficiency rating, 44.7%. So a direct calculation, when we're given the Qs, I chose to calculate efficiency using the work over Q sub H, so I had to calculate the work first. There is an equation for efficiency that just uses Qs, but this gives us practice in calculating the work. So work some more problems on your own.